fishing the lake on a drop. <clears throat> they just shut the water off here a little bit ago. Anytime you fish a drop, these these trout are usually midget, really good. As you can see out here, they are midget good. Now I've got a little soft tackle on number 16 red soft tackle. Got a little chop on the water, which is perfect. Doesn't look like these fish are very big. But really can't tell. Until you hook one. I'm kind of working it as, as a fast, choppy retrieve, and then I'll stop. Let that fly sink just a little bit. They don't seem to be too interested in it. What they're hitting is really, really small. Or what they're eating, the, the, the midges out here are really small right now. Just tiny, tiny, tiny. You can see them all over the surface here. I put on a little 28 Griffith gnat. I'm going to try to get small enough to catch these fish. They're still midging pretty good. <clears throat> Soft tackle didn't work. Still got a little chop on the water, so it's going to be real hard to see the, the strike. Like really hard. I went down to 7x. Tip it. Hey, he wouldn't really take a soft tackle, and he really wouldn't take a little Griffith snap. So I put on a little thread midge, a little red, on a number 18, maybe 20. And I got it under a little pulse indicator about 6 inches. Now I'm pretty sure I could go and throw a, throw a zebra and catch these fish, but I'm trying with just a couple different things. They're not real big fish, so they're not, they haven't been in the water very long, in the lake. I don't think they're going to be real smart. Oops. I'm catching my camera here. I'm losing my chop. They're still midging pretty good. Still like that chop. Messed up my camera here. Getting kind of late in the day. <clears throat> Actually, I was out here for a couple hours before I even boated a fish. So, <clears throat> and it's not because they weren't biting necessarily. Other people were catching fish, but I was trying to catch them a certain way and <clears throat> this whole video thing is how I fished and didn't catch any fish. But <clears throat> they've been midging all evening. Late in the day, everybody's gone. 
and they're starting to pick up a, I'm using a little uh, 3 32nd ounce jig. It's sculpin and ginger, brown head. <clears throat> they're starting to take it pretty good, so I'm actually catching fish now. The water's been off since about 2.30, 3 o'clock today. This is Saturday. <clears throat> and um, a lot of fish up here. I'm, I'm about, well, the red house is just above me. Everybody knows where the red house is. Up in the trophy area. I'm sitting in the channel throwing to the, the, the bank is right behind me. I'm kind of throwing out cut on the edge and bring it back in the channel. <clears throat> We're not hitting it hard. Actually, I think most of my bites are getting, I'm getting about halfway back in my retrieves. So I think they're following it a lot and looking at it, being real careful, real tentative. So I'm getting a lot of my strikes almost underneath the boat. <clears throat> and they're not hitting it hard. I'm feeling it when I'm jigging up like that. I'll feel the fish miss a lot. I get some moss. Not too bad. I've seen a lot of guys up here doing just this, throwing sculpin jigs and, and doing pretty good, catching a lot of fish. <clears throat> I just hadn't been doing it much because I've been trying to catch them on a fly run. Using little dries and midges and stuff I, I don't necessarily use. Uh, thread midges. I did try a zebra a couple, for just a little bit and caught a couple fish. But for the most part, they've been pretty picky on the on the little on the little stuff. 